Welcome to my channel. I'm Janet Yong, and in my channel, I share about Feng Shui, Ba Zi, entrepreneurship, as well as personal growth, especially in the areas of communication, success, and motivation. And if you are already an existing subscriber, welcome back. Long time no see. It's been some time since I've recorded a video and uploaded it. And why is this the case? I was just following the influence of the year for my day master. In the second half of 2023, it was a year to take a step back, relax, understand what's going on in the world and look at the bigger trends. Now, if you are new to my channel and not sure what I'm talking about in terms of the influence of the year, you can actually visit or go to the playlist Asian Personality Profiling series and the Pazza series itself where I explain a little bit more. And here is the first video for the 2024 forecast series where in this series itself, I'll share about what's going to happen in 2024 from a Pazza, which are the horoscopes that will do well in this first video. Following up every week, I'll be releasing videos about the horoscopes from red, ox, tiger, rabbit, all the way to those born with a pig within their charts. And it has to be some kind of resonance that we are meeting on my channel on YouTube itself. So after the 2024 forecast series on the animal horoscopes, as usual, I will be doing also what are the auspicious sectors for the year 2024, followed by the inauspicious sectors that you need to stay away from or protect yourself from. And the special thing about 2024 is that it is the beginning of period 9 for the next 20 years all the way to 2043. Now, what I'm going to do special for this coming new year in terms of 2024 is a period 9 analysis for each of the day masters and that will follow up after all the 2024 forecasts for the individual horoscopes and the home. And I look forward to continually seeing you on my channel itself. And if you have not, please do subscribe so that you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. So without further ado, let's move on to the next segment where I'll share more about what's in store for the different animals in the year 2024. Hello, welcome to this segment. And in this segment, I'll be sharing with you what's in store in 2024 for each of the animal horoscopes as well as a brief look into the parts of chart of 2024, what it holds for us as well as a glimpse into period 9 since 2024 is the start or the beginning of period 9 for the next 20 years. As mentioned, for today, I'll be just covering a brief summary of all the various different horoscopes which horoscope will win the race in 2024 and before we do that i would like you to go to bazicalculator.janetyong.com the link that is shown here or scan this qr code to get your bazi chart and as you can see there is more than one animal horoscope in our bazi chart basically we have the year animal the month animal the day animal and the hour animal and if we look only at the year animal itself, you will realize that it only represents 12.5%, one out of the eight elements within a Bazi chart, which represents basically the eight Chinese characters within our Bazi chart. Therefore, if you really want to have a better insight and in-depth view, and it's the first time you are joining me, then please do go download your Bazi chart as shown on this link. And for those of you who have been with me for the last number of years or are familiar with the Bazi chart, you can skip this intro and go straight to the animal race. I place timestamps in the video and you can jump straight to that part of the video that you would like to watch. Now, for those who are new, let me just explain a little bit about what it means by having the different animal signs within our individual Bazi chart. Whatever animal horoscope that is within the year itself, it represents basically what's happening to us on a bigger company, bigger environment, bigger industry environment, or the relationship with our grandparents or what's happening to them. So traditionally, we only look at the year of birth. And therefore, a lot of times you'll find that it's not really that accurate. It's accurate at 12.5% describing what's happening in your external environment. 
then the month animal itself then actually talks really about your career your relationship with your immediate superior what's happening within the immediate department or your relationship with your parents or what's happening to them in the year itself and for the day this is the one that really talks about you how you feel and what's your relationship with your partner your spouse your colleagues or your siblings the hour generally represents then your relationship with your subordinates people younger than you or if you have children your relationship with them the hour pillar also represents your investment luck which i'll touch on a little later on if you really have not downloaded your bar zi chart please scan this qr code or go to the link that i'm showing here to basically get your bar zi chart before we begin now for the year 2024 which is a young wood dragon year which animal wins the race so let's take a look those who are in the best group which are these animal signs it is actually the pig the snake the ox the rat and the goat and then the next group it's what we call the average group though you may call it average it doesn't mean that it's bad luck it just means that you have to put in more effort whereas those that are in the best group itself maybe you have the stars aiding you but it's not a given that you will succeed it means that you actually have to put in still the effort but you have more of the year's energy supporting you to see success this year so in the average group you do have the monkey the horse the rooster dragon and the tiger now the two animal signs that basically need to build a lot more foundation be a little bit more careful in the new year have you guessed which are the two remaining animals yes it is that of the rabbit and the dog and let me explain a little bit how i actually came to this conclusion now you can see from this particular chart itself with the red ox tiger all the way to those with the pig within their charts the green wordings represent the auspicious stars within their chart and the black letterings represent the inauspicious stars that are within their chart so you can see specifically for the number one animal which is the pig it has a lot of auspicious stars especially the emperor star and the dragon virtue star and for the dog it basically does not have any auspicious stars and it's also the clash animal for the year and what does this mean i'll explain a little later on when i go into the specifics of each of the individual animal horoscope signs coming up in the various weeks later on now then let's take a look at which are the animal signs that will have wealth and opportunities coming for them in this new year it is those with the rat the ox the tiger the snake and the pig within their charts this is especially the case if these animal signs appear in your month branch or in the hour branch itself so if you want to know please do remember to get your chart to investigate what animal signs do you have and do you have one of these lucky animal horoscopes within your chart what about career recognition and power when we talk about career recognition and power we have those with the rat the snake the horse and the pig and especially when we're talking about career it has to be the animal that's within your month branch so if you're born in the month of rat which is actually that of december snake which is may to beginning june and horse which is basically june to beginning july and pig which basically is the month of november all the way to early december itself so if you do have this in these months then definitely you will do well in your career and then we look at which are the animal signs that will have helpful people this year it will be those with the ox the snake the goat the rooster and the pig and you have to step up ask for help in order for the helpful people to come remember the masters or the teachers will only appear when the student is ready so if you do not have an open mindset to ask for help then you cannot just sit there and wait for the helpful people to just land on you right of course we can use feng shui to enhance better luck better help from other people mental help and the referral that you need especially if you are in your own business now how do we do that i will cover in the 2024 feng shui auspicious sectors that will be coming up 
nearer the beginning of February. However, you also must remember when we talk about helpful people, it's not necessarily that they appear helpful. Sometimes there are people who gives us lessons and basically through those bad experiences or lessons, we learn something that then basically make us a better person or better version of ourselves in the longer term. So those will also be considered helpful people. When we look at communication, networking and travel up, I think in today's world, it is even more crucial. So if you look at which are the animal signs that have this, it will be those with the dragon, the snake and the tiger. And who do you network or have better communication with? It will then depend on where these animal signs of the dragon, the snake and the tiger appear within your chart. If it is in your year, then usually it will generally be good networking luck and communication luck with your general social circle of friends. If it is within the month, it will be your boss, your parents. If it is the day, it will be your spouse, your partner or your siblings or your peers. And the hour generally will be people younger than you or your subordinates or children itself. So the other thing that is great is those with the tiger in your chart will actually have the Voyager star. So with the Voyager star, it basically represents the ability to travel abroad for your work itself or in today's world, it could be building your online presence this new year 2024. Now, what about academic and creativity? In 2024, which I'll cover a little later on, where a lot of the elements are very young and you need adaptability and flexibility and intelligence, these animal signs will be great. So those with monkey and dragon in your chart, remember to be flexible, to adapt and basically look at the situation, take a step back and be able to respond appropriately. Of course, utilizing feng shui, being in the right sector at the right time will definitely boost your chances of success. Now, what about love luck? If you are single and trying to look for that special someone, or if you are already within a relationship and want to take it a step further, having these stars will definitely aid you. So for the peach blossom luck, it will be those with the dragon within their charts. Besides utilizing it for personal relationship, if you are in a role, whether it's a career or business role that allows you to interact with people and you need to convince people or influence people about your point of view, about the things that you want to share, then having this peach blossom star is great. And those with the dragon within their charts will have this excellent luck this year. Now for pig and snake, basically you have the red matchmaker and the sky happiness star respectively. So if I'm in a current relationship, this is an excellent year for you to take that step further and move up in the status in your relationship to sign the papers. Or if you are single, you can also network more, be willing to go out with more people, interact with a wider social network in order to find that right person. Then you have those with the rooster. Now, when we talk about the salty pool star, in traditional parts, the salty pool is basically a bad star because it talks about what we call in Mandarin Lan Tao Hua or basically romance that is basically not what you wanted where third party relationships are involved. But do not be worried if you do have the rooster within your chart. Because when we talk about these stars, these are opportunities that can happen. But if your relationship is stable with your partner, then you should not be worrying about a star's presence. Spending time with your spouse in the right sectors of the home, taking that couple time together is crucial in building that relationship so that you're not worried about the salty pool style at all. Now, here is the end of the brief summary of what are the stars present for each of the different animal horoscopes. I will basically talk about each individual horoscope in the coming weeks, starting with the red and ox next week. So let's look at the 2024 Ba Zi in the next segment. 
Now this is the 2024 bar chart. How did I plot it? It's basically plot based on the 10,000 year calendar. Usually on the 3rd or the 4th of February every year and for 2024 is starting at the monkey time. So 2024 is the year of the young wood dragon. It happens in the month of the young fire tiger and on the day of young earth dog in the hour of young metal monkey. Have you noticed something? Every element that I've read out is young. Young wood dragon, which is young earth, young fire tiger, which is young wood, and young earth dog, which is another young earth, in the hour of young metal monkey, which is young metal. So this new year, if you notice, is all young elements. Now, if you understand parts, the young element is about action, about activity, about being direct, taking the proactive approach. However, we all also know that wherever we talk about parts, all the five elements, you need to have balance. When everything is too young, everybody is moving forward then nobody is willing to take a step back to negotiate so this is something that you need to be wary about and understand that everyone in the new year will be more opinionated wanting their opinions to be heard and sometimes this may end up in quarrels especially from a feng shui perspective you also have the number three quarrelsome star in the center of the earth this year and you can already see that this is exactly what's happening in the world stage and interestingly enough every time we want to take a look at what can happen in the new year it is usually during the clash month of the following year so 2024 is the year of the dragon and then october is the month of the dog which clashes with dragon you will notice that that's when actually the war in Middle East, which has the number three star in the middle of the earth, started as well. So what happened to you or what you experienced in October 2023 actually gave you a glance of what's going to happen in 2024. And the other thing that I would like to highlight is on the surface, you seeing from this blue arrow, you can see that young wood produces fire, young fire produces earth, and the earth produces metal. So on the surface, actually in 2024, everything seems to be working out fine. But if you examine it further, you will see that there are a lot of undercurrents, upheaval and conflict or clashes within the chart. Let me explain why. You can see that the tiger in the month branch clashes with the hour branch of the monkey. Not only it clashes in the branch, it is also clashing in the heavenly stem of the young fire and young metal. And then you also have the dragon branch in the year clashing with the day branch in the dog. And not only is it clashing below, it's also clashing in the heavenly stems as well with the young wood and the young earth. So what you can see is although on the surface everything seems to be fine, everyone seems to be agreeing, there are a lot of underlying conflicts. But because these clashes and conflicts are basically interposed with a pillar in between, for example, between the dragon and the dog, that is the tiger branch, between the tiger branch and the monkey, that is the dog branch. So there's a little bit more restraint. I wouldn't say 2024 would be a harmonious year. It may look so on the surface, but there are a lot of undercurrents. Do take note of that. This can be in the world stage. This can be at home. It is just the general feeling of what everyone has. Now, how that then basically funnels down to your individual chart will then depend on the day that you're born the elements within your chart as well as your the animal horoscope so if you are someone who are, is already very aggressive then be wary that you don't want the year's energies to make you even more offensive especially if the stars are not with you spend time in the auspicious sector so that it will help you then in the first 
quarter or first half of the year, these offensive energy can even surface to become some aggressive action. Why is this the case? Because the Youngwood element is one of the stronger elements within this year's chart. And the Youngwood element that is actually strong and outside in the year heavenly stem is that of the 7K warrior star as well. Therefore, 2024 gives you the feeling that although things may look all right on the surface, but there's a lot of undercurrents, everyone is not willing to give in to be able to succeed. I think the best element within the chart is the water element, which is about being flexible. And a little bit of the fire element means doing something that you really enjoy so that whatever hardships or obstacles that you face, you are able to look at it from a longer term perspective because this is what you enjoy doing itself. So if you ask me, are there wealth opportunities in the year 2024? It's not obvious from the chart here, basically because the two water element, which is the wealth element for the year, is hidden in the dragon branch as well as the monkey branch. But if you are willing to be flexible, which is what is represented by water, be adaptable to the circumstances, you will definitely be able to find wealth and people may not even notice it. The 2024 Bouncer chart not only gives you a glimpse of the whole year, it also gives you a glimpse to the beginning of period 9 of the willingness to basically be flexible, learn, be wise, which is represented by the water element so that you will succeed in the coming 20 years. And if you have enjoyed this session, please do click on the subscribe button, watch the videos that are coming up in the Animal Horoscope series and do not miss the 2024 Feng Shui and what you can do in period 9 to position yourself for success in the coming 20 years. Thank you for your time watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed what I've just shared. I'll see you in the next video next week. Goodbye.